Welcome everybody to another episode of Winging It here on Rhino's World. For this month's episode, I'm taking a bit of a break from conventional flavors such as like traditional spicy stuff or savory flavors of chicken wings to the absurd. And it doesn't get any more absurd than the flavor that I'm going to put on chicken this month. This month I'm going to make some chocolate flavored chicken wings. I have no expectations other than spectacular failure and just pure hilarity. But like my other attempts, I'm going to have two different approaches. One totally absurd approach with pretty much straight cocoa and sugar. And the other slightly less bizarre approach where I combine cocoa and a bunch of other warm spices that might go well with cocoa and would hopefully save some high quality chicken. But I'm not optimistic. Hopefully it'll be funny to watch, so let's just get this out of the way. Well, let's get this over with as quickly as possible for my keep it simple stupid recipe. It's going to be very, very simple. Equal parts, sugar, cocoa, baking cocoa, and a little bit of kosher salt. There's a York. Our baking cocoa. God, what have I gotten myself into? By itself, it, this might make a good hot cocoa mix, but a chicken wing dry rub? <sighs> You'd have to be insane like me to try something like that. Now I'm just gonna eyeball a little bit of uh, kosher salt in there. Let's go to our complicated dry rub. For this one, again, equal parts and cocoa. mix with one part each of kosher salt. Also some cinnamon. I'm also going to throw in some ground ginger to give it a little bit of warmth. Ginger and cocoa go well together. Once again I forgot to take the freshness seal off. Oh my god, that's, oh, yep, that is definitely ginger. I think I'm going to do a half a part each of stirred powder and some ground coriander. There we go. And for a little taste of the rub, the cinnamon and the ginger give it a good touch. How well it will mix with chicken, I have no clue. Straight chocolate, chocolate with supporting cast. Okay, so now our wing preparation station is ready. So let's start first with the regular stuff. Here goes nothing. Only on Brian's world will you see such absurdity. I mean, look, 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 look at that, look at that. It looks like a freaking candy bar shaped like a chicken wing. But it's actual chicken! So there you go. That go. Let's see, where should I put that? Right here. Yeah, like that, like that. So here I've got a little, Here we are. Cinnamon ginger rub is here. I've got slightly higher hopes for this one. But not much higher. And this looks about the same, I think, if I don't know if you can tell from that. You definitely smell the ginger though. I think that might be a key factor in this. It just looks so weird. These wings look so weird. one is all prepared and the ginger smell is really becoming present in the air here you can really smell the ginger here here we go straight cocoa on the left cocoa plus ginger cinnamon and etc on the right okie dokie so now our chocolate chicken wings have been prepared so now it's time to shove them into a refrigerator for about one hour So in one hour we'll be ready to cook and then 
half hour later taste some chocolate chicken wings. Uh, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Oh, good. This is not going to work. This is not going to work at all. Okay, it has been about an hour since I put these wings in the fridge. Just took them out. So now let's <coughs> get ready to cook them. I hate to say I'm not looking forward to this, but I'm not looking forward to this. I mean, look at these things. I'm gonna eat these. I, <laughs> I have no words to describe them. I mean, they smell. The ginger mix smells interesting, but it's not something I would think to put on chicken. Oven has been preheated, so here go the wings into the convection oven. And now to get started with the cooking. Three, two, one, and time's up. There we go, let's see, oh, whoosh. I can never get used to that, and as soon as it clears up, oh. May have gotten a little bit of burning on the, uh, some of these here. I don't know if it's burnt or just crispy. Let's see here. This one feels fine. That's all. Maybe a little evidence of burning, but the taste will be the deciding factor. Well, our wings have been fully cooked. Not sure if they're burnt or just colored like that from the cocoa. But if you can see from this point of view, the ones on the left are straight cocoa and sugar and salt, and the others have the cocoa, salt, cinnamon, ginger, and coriander as well. The first one that I will try is the flap made with straight cocoa. There's a little bit of chicken grease on it. Otherwise, it just smells kind of eh. Please don't taste terrible. Please don't taste terrible. You know what? I'm taking out some insurance. I now have my insurance policy here. Put this off to the side. But now, here we go. Recipe number one for chocolate chicken wings. Here we go. Not really tasting much of anything. I'm getting a little this disgusting. Ugh, oh, bleh. no. So, oh, I don't think any of the sugar stuck to the chicken, and that's why it tastes kind of bland. It doesn't taste burnt, but it just gives it a disgusting black to it. Ugh. Mm. It's kind of depressing having to ruin high-quality chicken by putting it through this crap, but it needs to be done for the sake of entertainment, and oh, God, that's... Ugh. Mm. Ugh. 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 And the weird thing is I'm not even tasting any of the cocoa. It's just reacting with the chicken in a way that's just making it not appetizing at all. But now I'm getting kind of curious. And I'm eyeing these other two wings here that I gave a little bit more of a star treatment to. So this one's got a mixture of, again, the sugar. I don't know if any of it's stuck to it, but it's got a mixture of the sugar, cocoa, plus some other ingredients, including cinnamon, ginger, and some corian ground coriander. And some ground mustard, if I remember. It smells kind of nice, kind of like a gingerbread cookie or something, but a gingerbread chicken wing, I don't know. Ginger wing, I don't know. Three, two, one. Hmm. Now, this one's pretty interesting. This one doesn't blow me out of the water, but it almost works. The ginger and... I'm not getting much of the cinnamon. It's more like the, a hint of ginger. I'm shocked that this is not terrible. Let's see if I can get anything more from the uh, drum here. Hmm. Not getting much of the chocolate, but it's just the perfect. It's like the perfect mixture of like ginger, cinnamon, and cocoa. Just make it. Just make it. Just gives it. Gives it something nice to it. I think with if I tweak this a little bit, with a few more tweaks, this would be completely awesome. Just like a nice winter type of a meal or such. I don't know what kind of people would like something like this, but 
I think there's some potential to this one. And on that note, that will do it for another episode of Winging It Here on Brian Owls World. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you think I could approve this recipe at all, or if you've got your own ideas for wings I can try on the show, please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, and of course, subscribe to Brian Owls World if you haven't already. Once again, thank you very, very much for watching, and have yourself a good one.